Hello YouTube, today is finally the day that I am going to give you guys something that a lot of people have been anticipating and that is a little tutorial on how to make your own mods. I planned on doing this a whole lot sooner than this but being without power kind of slowed everything down to my talk. I just kind of gave up hope on it so here we go. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to make your own personal mods but I'm going to tell you right now <clears throat> that you do need a Windows computer, it has to be a Windows operating system, Macintosh and Linux will not work. So if you have any, any either of those users, I'm sorry to say, but you're out of luck. Since the programs that are required to make a mods are only compatible with Windows. So again, sorry for that inconvenience. <coughs> And the other thing I am actually going to leave out since, as you can clearly see, boss spawning is hell in the game at this point in time. So I'm not going to show you how to give yourself a boss for a pet. I will have, however, just so people don't completely flame me in the comments, I will give you a little hint on how to, but I'm not going to show you exactly how. So. I'll give you a hint and I'll leave it up to you guys to figure out how to do it yourselves after I give you the tutorial. Okay, so with all that being said, let's go ahead and move over to the computer. See ya in a bit. Maybe. Alright. <laughs> Alright guys, here we are on the computer screen. As you can clearly see, this right here is DN Spy. This is what you guys use to actually make or edit your mods. Over here is Advanced Speaker K Tool. That is what you use to decompile, recompile, sign, and zipline your APK files. So, <coughs> so the folders can be. So this is what Advanced APK Tool will look like when you install it. All you do, I will put the links to the downloads in the description. So when you get to when you download it, you can extract the zip file wherever on your computer, I just put it on my desktop, so you go to your, the folders you're going to want to look at is your in, out, and done folders. Now in, in, in the in folders, the first one you go to, you take whatever mods you want to edit, like I have all mine already in here, so you go, you just copy whatever APK file you want to edit, you paste it into the in folder, the TV in folder, then you open, <coughs> open the uh, tool, I can find it here, it's the number 2 to decompile, hit enter, then press whatever number is the one that you want to do, like I think, like mine's going to be 2, so you hit number 2, then hit Y, <coughs> then it will do all its thing, its whole little decompiling process, and just wait for that to get done. Meanwhile, as you guys' days have been going, days and nights, you can clearly see it's 4 o'clock in the morning by the time I should not be awake right now, but I am, so I figured I would make this little video for you. Since I, I don't have anything better to do at the moment. <coughs> I know quite a few people have actually asked me to make a few uh, <coughs> let's plays of some horror games because people like seeing me crap myself, but I'm sorry, I don't feel up to that right now. And I don't know, <laughs> I really don't know when I will feel up to it. So, yeah. And while it's doing its thing, just ignore all that stuff that's on the screen. Even I get confused at all that. And then once it's done, as you can see, press any key to continue, okay, it's safe to close it now. Then once it is done, you'll go to your 3 out folder, and there's the one you just <coughs> decompiled right there. So that's when you go open DN Spy. Now DN Spy can be, the folder can be a bit confusing. So, because there's all this in here. But what you want, the file that you want to look for is of course the exe file, the executable. You open this one, the one that doesn't have any thing after it, just says dnspy for the 64-bit machines like mine. If you have an 86-bit, however, you open the 86-bit. Naturally, anybody should know that, so. I opened mine already, which is right here. So what you do is you go into your extracted folder of your APK, and you go to Assets, BIM, Data, Managed. Now the only file you need from in here is the assembly C-sharp DLL file. 
what you do is just drag that over here to the Assembly Explor Explorer in the Inspire. And I'm going to try to explain this as basically as I possibly can, since this is actually can be quite confusing to new people. So with that being said, what you do is you just hit those drop down arrows and you come here to this little dash mark here. And here's all the... I will show you everything that you can edit. Oh god, excuse me. So, now, the one thing I actually just learned not too long ago is how to change pet names. Now, to do that, you go down to the find out all this. It's all in alphabetical order, so which makes it a whole lot easier for me. You find chat participant, which is right here. You go in there, and your pet would be right here. Blahs. That would be where your name would go, and mine would be Neon Wolf Gaming's Anibus. This was was once Egyptian mod, but this is I actually converted it to my personal mod, and since my mod spawns bosses, I don't have to worry about that. So, but to change, if you want like a secret name, go to Chat Input, and here is my name right here. That's where you would put your secret, your secret name. And these down here, that's for the little symbols at the end of your name. <coughs> that right there is for the chat color. That's what your ch chat color will be. So with that, one main thing that people want to learn how to do is changing your grades and changing your um, your stats. Now for that, for your uh, grade, you want to find one that's called RPC damage, like right here. Now you're great, you're um actually I think you do both here. So yeah, here right here is my grade. As you can see. This is my neon wolf grade. The pink and blue <coughs> Gracient. As you I had to type out all that notepad, that's what takes the time, is all the type. So I just put everything in the notepad, then copy it and paste it into DNSpire. That would be where your grade would go. Down here is all your banners. And I'm actually going to change that one eventually, so yeah. These are all well, this will be where all your banners go. And the last four. Yes, your stats actually are in C start the game. Right here. Them. So you just scroll down to here is where all your stats are. You can give yourself, like, I have positive infinity points, and my experience points is at negative infinity, so I don't level up. And here is where your grade would go. <coughs> and pet flag is obviously going to be on one. Change it to zero, then I'll, you know, take your pet away. So you can just change this to whatever you want. <coughs> so, and, uh, so status level zero, this is your attack, your defense, your speed, and your health. And down here is your pet grades. And of course you can always change the dinosaur info, I was too lazy to do that, so. <laughs> and that, that's that, so. That's how you change your grade, how you change your stats, and everything. So, and other things that some people might want is pop-up bum. A pop up skill is your hero. When someone heroes you, that is what you will say. Let's see, sorry. That's what you will see. Pop up, um, delete character is what you will get when you uh, go to delete your dinosaur. You will get your own personal pop up message. <coughs> and pop up input ID is what you get when you go to create a dinosaur without naming it first. So that's really all the basic stuff that um, people edit in mods, so there's not really much else to edit. I mean there is, but oh yeah, and some people want to be like upside down and such. If you want to be like upside down or moonwalking or whatever, you just go down to your stats and you change like, say if you want to be, you want, like, so when you want to edit something, you just right-click it, click Edit Class, and then you just type whatever you want in there. 
but if you want to do moon walking, all you have to do is just change your speed to negative, and you will moon walk. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and now I'm just fall the heck of it. And as for being upside down, that you would have to change your player grades. Like, I would not recommend... For copies and Velociraptors particularly, I would not, would not recommend anything below negative 60 because you would get stuck in the ground. But, um, Oviraptors and <coughs> Dilophosauruses, they can go as low as negative 250. But because of the others, the other two, um, oh, you know, I just, yeah, with it, negative 250, let's just do that. So you want to change both of these, though. <coughs> anyway, so that's that, then after you do, you edit whatever you want to edit, just hit compile. Wait for it to do its thing, there you go. So you edit that, and I did promise a little bit of a hint for... Okay, so my hint would be the file that you have to edit, okay? It would be the one that you edit to add a um, boss instead of a pet, would be, is called player pet on off. That is the file that you edit. So, <coughs> with that, with all that being said, I will show you what I just did with the speed and everything. So what you go do is you go up to file, you go to save all. Okay, it'll save in the same place where you opened the file. And close and minimize that. I usually just I'm back, sorry guys, I had a little bit of a cut out there. But um anyway, after you save all after you save the file in DNSpy, you're gonna go back to Advanced ABK tool. <coughs> you open the tool and you go back and you select the number three. So hit three, hit enter hit, in my case would be number two, so even though you're going to be doing all three of those, these do not select number four, just because it has a risk of <coughs> crushing your computer, I've already been through that, and I do, I do not like the result, so what you're going to do is you hit one, then hit Y, and wait for it to do what its little thing here, so what happens after everything is recompiled, signed and sublined, it's going to go into the done folder. So... Ow. Holy crap, okay. So while we're waiting for this, we'll go pop a top, maybe have a drink or two. the hall. I don't think you can, but my sister sounds like she's getting mad at her video games again. <laughs> Alright, anyway, here we go. Press any key to continue. So you go down to 4. Hit number 4. And in this case, mine's going to be number 4. So hit whichever mod is yours. Are you sure? Yes. That's why. And it's going to sign your file. that it is safe to either close or minimize. I usually close. So I'm going to do that. So after that, like I said, it's going to be in your done folder. Here it is right here. So just I'm going to put that up. Actually, I think I already did that. So that. So what you do is you just move your, that, your APK of the file of the mod that you just edited to your phone or my case tablet. I think I did that already. Yes, I did. And this is the one. So let's go see what the speed is going to be like. Okay, I will see you guys back on my tablet. Hello guys, we are back. And now I have to go... 
So now as you can clearly see where all my mods are, here is the mod we just edited. So I'm gonna go ahead and install that. <coughs> still says that. I probably could have, should have changed that while I was in the inspire, but I didn't think about it, and quite honestly I don't really care about it right now. Let's get past all this stupid intro stuff. In fact, I'll just speed on by that. Be right back. Oh, we're back! As you can clearly see, guys, I still have my regular grades, what it, us what it is. Now, a lot there have been a few people on my who have left in the comments stating that the mods that they're using or that the mods that they have downloaded don't come with the stats that I stated they would come with. Now the reason for that, yeah this definitely is not my uh, original one as you can see my grade is way messed up. But the um, let's skip the ad, but the reason for that is because if you already have a dinosaur made, like as you can see, I do, I already do. What you want to do is you go to that dinosaur slot and you delete it, and then you go and remake it. So I'm just gonna remake that same dinosaur. No, it does not have to be the same dinosaur. It could be a different one, but it does have to be in the same spot. So let's go ahead and do that. There we go. See if I can get myself stuck. Now initially when you're upside down you moonwalk with positive speed. So I will actually be walking normally as you can clearly see now on negative 250 like what I put in the in the end spot. And I am <laughs> this sort of moonwalking. Kind of. Because like I say being upside down you initially moonwalk, but as you can clearly see the controls are inverted. <clears throat> and yeah, I still have bosses, even though they look like they're a million times bigger than me. So, there you go, that is how you make a mod. Now, the reason why it says mod by Bright Stars is because the original mod that I had used to build off of was Egyptian mod, which was indeed by Bright Stars, I just haven't changed that. So, there have been a few people who are saying that I've been stealing. The truth is, I have not been stealing. I've given Bright Stars <coughs> credit for making the base mods, and that is really all I can do. <coughs> so, with that being said, guys, I'm completely free of thievery. So, if you still want to accuse me of stealing, that is fine. I, do, I really do not care anymore. So, just keep that in mind. But anyway, guys, that wraps it up for this tutorial. Hope you all could enjoy my tired brain right now. <laughs> Hope you could all understand my tired brain. So, so, if you have any questions, concerns, or anything, just let me know in the comments, and I will do my best to answer. So, as always, guys, thanks for watching, and remember, better than bright, till we meet again. Thank you guys. Yeah, my screen's missing. Bye!